The Legends of Jazz Education Award honors true legends in jazz education that have demonstrated being an outstanding educator over several decades of promoting jazz in all formats, encouraged and inspired musicians, teachers, and aficionados of all ages, has been recognized both nationally and internationally for their work, and demonstrates a true passion for the jazz art form. This award is bestowed upon a jazz educator who has distinguished themselves by living up to the gen mission of building the jazz arts community by advancing education, promoting performance, and developing new audiences. We are honored that we are able to present this year's Legends of Jazz Education Award to this most deserving individual. If you'd like your attention to the screens, please. Education is in my DNA. My parents were both teachers. Education, justice, and jazz. These are three of the things I care most deeply about. As a college student, I was inspired by seeing Miles Davis and by meeting my piano heroes, Bill Evans and Thelonious Monk. As I studied with jazz masters Jackie Bayard, Roland Hanna, and David Baker, I came to realize that while I did not have the dedication to practice hours a day, I deeply admired the values of jazz, innovation, cultural diversity, creative collaboration, and freedom of expression. I wanted to learn everything I could about the music and then pass that along to other people, young and old. When, at age 35, I was appointed the Smithsonian's first curator of 20th century American music, <laughs> I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. Here with the Smithsonian's 25 million visitors was what amounted to the world's largest classroom. To create opportunities for the public to learn, the Smithsonian preserves the music's past for the ages. I worked to build trust with Dizzy Gillespie, Ella Fitzgerald, Lionel Hampton, Artie Shaw, Herbie Hancock, and the families of Ellington and Coltrane and helped collect their artifacts and archives. As a curator for 33 years, I strove to educate the public by creating a series of exhibitions on Ellington, Ella Fitzgerald, and Ray Charles, by developing online materials for students and teachers, and by founding a resident big band, the Smithsonian Jazz Masterworks Orchestra. This eminent ensemble and its maestros David Baker and Gunther Schuller taught me much about the vast jazz repertory, teamwork and collegiality, and reaching the public to perpetuate a tradition. It's been an honor to lecture and perform a tad in 25 countries for the U.S. State Department, spreading knowledge about America's music and doing my little bit for cultural diplomacy. Then there were the books I wrote or participated in. Writing each one was a challenge and a privilege. Feeling that jazz was undervalued in our society, I founded an annual celebration, Jazz Appreciation Month, to encourage schools, libraries, radio stations, and others to offer special programs each April. Jam is now celebrated across the country and around the world stimulating students and the public to explore this cultural treasure and boosting respect for the music. To do this work, to be part of the jazz family, I am grateful beyond all words. Dr. Hassey, on behalf of the Jazz Education Network, we are honored to present you with the 2018 Legends in Jazz Education Award. Thank you for your work in advancing jazz and through your work as an author, speaker, curator, and leader in jazz education. John Hassey.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Several months ago, when Caleb called me to give me this news, I was flabbergasted. My jaw dropped about down to the floor. And then when I learned the names of prior recipients of this award, I was so staggered you could have knocked me over with a feather. I am honored, humbled, and grateful. Caleb and colleagues, I want to salute you for all you do for the music, for your volunteer work as board members and leaders, and congratulations to Bobby Sanabria and the other three winners announced separately, Diane Downs, Kobe Narita, and Mary Ann Fisher. As a founding member of GEN, I am so proud of what this organization, what all you members have done and have accomplished. From the ashes of a failed organization arose this organization against all the odds and has succeeded so magnificently. And to everyone here, thank you for all you're doing for the music now and for, perpetu for perpetuating the music for the future. Whether you are here as a student, a musician, a teacher, or a supporter, what you are doing is invaluable. You are helping to sustain one of the greatest things to come out of America. You are helping keep jazz alive and healthy and passing it along to new audiences and new generations. My dear friend and mentor, David Baker, is not here tonight. I, I uh, thank him in absentia, shall we say, but I would like five people to stand and be recognized. When you say David Baker, you also are saying Lida Baker. And my dear friend Lida, wherever you are, would you please stand? There, Lida, Lida Baker. I'd like to recognize my colleague, Ken Kimry, who is the director of jazz programming at the Smithsonian. Ken, wherever you are, please stand, Ken. Dear friends, Fran Morris Rossman and Rich Rossman, who run the Ella Fitzgerald Foundation. And if my wife is here, Sonia, would you please stand up? <laughs> it's been the joy and privilege of my life to get to know so many of you in this room and I will cherish our associations forever. To quote one of my heroes, Duke Ellington, I do love you madly. The Jazz Education Network, Jen, is a vehicle for the entire field of jazz and its future because it's absolutely key to educate our young people, both performers and audience members, to keep this music alive, to enrich their lives, to enrich their families, to enrich their communities. It's so important. I'm so proud of this organization and what it's done. I am passionate about this music and the values for which it stands. And it's been my great privilege and driving force to help other people understand it, other people young and old, to understand and value it as one of the greatest products of the United States and now as a world music and art form that does so much to enrich people's lives. Globally, jazz is like uh, the English language. It's spread out from this <clears throat> relatively small island nation of England, went all around the world and then developed individual accents, regional accents in India, South Africa, Australia. Same thing for jazz. It left a much larger country, the United States, went all around the world, and in many places it developed its own national sound. South African jazz sounds very different than Cuban jazz, which sounds very different than Brazilian jazz. And yet, it's all jazz. Today, if you take a trumpeter from Turkey, a bass player from Brazil, a uh, cornet player from Cuba, a pianist from Poland, and a drummer from Denmark, 
they might not speak each other's spoken language at all, but they can instantly communicate in the global language of jazz. I'd like to continue to do what I can to help grow the jazz audience and help the next generations, as well as the general public, understand, appreciate, and value this music. Thank you.